Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going into the city to have brunch with Adriana because I actually haven't seen her in a really, really long time. Maybe it's like two weeks now. Anyway, let's go meet up with her. Yay. into the city and I just met up with Adriana we're at this vintage store looks cool like good looking vintage stuff too it doesn't look like crap I wonder how much it is oh refurbish yeah. it type thing oh that's so cool look at this old school lift Look at this old building. Brianna just told me that this building was what, what made in 1910? Let's look it up first. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me exact date. Okay. <laughs> we have a look. Oh, 1926, you guys, it was completed. That's a long time ago. Let's go. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, we're going in the old school lift. <gasps> oh man, it's not so old school inside. Oh. Like everyone just starts appearing. <laughs> yeah, in the background, right? But this is actually like the same place that we first met, like on my third day or first week in Australia. But she didn't know that there was an upstairs level that I have like actual restaurant food and like food, like real food. What am I trying to talk about? I don't know. But yeah, so we were just down there too. But this has more food. There's more food. I think what the other lower part is busy at the moment. So yeah. So they just make them come up here. Yeah. Okay. So you add the yogurt into the soup. What a masterpiece. <laughs> man so fancy skills she knows what she's doing <laughs> she just dropped her soup in her spoon into the soup oh no so there's our soup and cappuccino like I've been <laughs> This is a lot of soup. Oh wow. That's actually really good. Yeah, everyone knows that soup hideout. We're like an episode from Seinfeld. Really? <laughs> I never thought of putting Greek yogurt in soup before. I should do that more often. Because I made cauliflower soup at home before with potato and stuff like that. It's really good. Is it historical? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Is this vintage as well? Cute. So many cool little 
fashion stores. Ooh, what's this? Cool, like armadillo style bag. Today's outfit is just like my pajama top and this choker right here that I haven't worn in quite some time. And then the DIY ripped jeans I made in Japan like a while ago. I haven't worn them because I thought like I looked fat in one photo. Oh <laughs> god, extra. <laughs> but they're actually not that bad. So it's all cafes down here. I think I walked down here one time. Yeah, I think it was my second day here I walked down the street. So I'm going into Daiso because I want to try to find snakes, like fake snakes. Because I have a pigeon problem at my apartment. So let's look. This Daiso is actually really good. Like they have actual like stuff right from Japan. Like these masks and a bunch of the heat packs which are actually really, really good. Like I was actually shocked at how good this Daiso is. I know in Korea like they don't have any of like the actual Jap Japan stuff but they have oh yeah like this floss looks really cute actually no this floss doesn't look good I need floss too oh no oh no I need more Q-tips too. I should probably pick some up. Hmm, so I'm not seeing a snake, but they have this fake eagle that says bird deterrent. So maybe if they if I don't end up finding a snake, I could get that. Ooh, they have a kitty one. Oh, I don't know what to get. I kind of want to get the cat one. I don't know. And then they also have pegs so you can stop cats from walking on like your stuff, but I need it for pigeons. Oh, hi, hi guys. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi today. Oh my god. <laughs> so I was just doing my Daiso shopping and they noticed. <laughs> I got a package. Let's take a look at what it is. I'm excited you guys. So excited. It is some Hairfinity products. So I'm actually gonna um, do a collab with the company and test it out because I have really slow growing hair by nature. Like my hair always takes millions of years to grow. I just, it's just like how it is. So um, I'm gonna try out the Hairfinity line and see how it can affect my hair within a month. Cause I've always been curious about stuff like this but I've never had really like the opportunity to try it out and they also gave me the hair strengthening mask and uh oil to try out i'm going to show you guys what i got from daiso this bag looks huge i needed a big bag though because um i ended up grabbing the like peg stuff to put on our balcony like on the ridge of our kind of window shutter thing that's where they sleep at night and just literally they crap like like madness all over our balcony all day every day especially at night like usually they don't come around during the day because i always scare them and i do a good job of scaring them away but at night while we're sleeping or in the early morning like i'm not awake so i can't scare them and that's when they come and like wreak havoc on my balcony so i'm gonna set that up in a bit and then because i wasn't too sure which one would work i got both of them i mean they're like a dollar each so i got the eagle one and then i also got the kitty one Kitty one's so cute though. But yeah, they didn't end up having any snakes. I looked everywhere. They had some dinosaurs, but no snakes. 
And as you guys saw, I got more little cotton buds because I'm all out and we needed these. And I also got this headband so that when I film my beauty tutorials, I can like put back my hair a bit because I don't have any headbands. So I, it kind of helps me out a little bit. I also picked up these little static dust floor wipes because um, it'll be handy. I need it. I need it. Because I don't always like sweeping. Sometimes I just want to like static it all up. Then I also got this little fragrance thing because Kyle's been complaining a lot lately that we need to get a refill for one of these. So I saw it and I grabbed it because it's affordable at Daiso. Then I also picked up these dusting slippers. I had these all the time when I lived in Korea and in Japan. They were like a staple in my home life. I just wear them all the time and then they dust the floor for you. And then the final thing I got is just this pink face towel because um, the face towels that we have, like they always shed on my face even though I've washed them so many times. So I always get like these blue lints and when I'm trying to do my makeup like they're always stuck to my face And it just drives me insane you guys So I got this microfiber one from Daiso and it's gonna be a lifesaver like it's just gonna make everything so much easier But anyway, that's everything that I hauled today So I'm gonna go and try to set up some of these pigeon stuffs Stuffs what kind of word is that? Stuffs, but I'm gonna try to set up some of this pigeon accessories or like deterrents and see how it goes and hopefully it helps because they drive me crazy get out they're constant you guys i can't get rid of them he ended up just putting it there it's the only place it would stay. All this shit. Like, look at them. They just come here at night when I'm sleeping and shit their pants. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the hiking that I did yesterday with Kyle. It was a really nice place. There literally was like only one other couple we ever saw while we were walking there. So I definitely recommend it as like a nice escape from the city. It wasn't even that hard to get to. Like you literally just follow the highway straight to it for like, 50 minutes not even that bad so if you haven't already been to the werribee gorge definitely check it out because yeah we saw those two wild kangaroos and it was so amazing and of course you guys remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to see more daily vlogs of my life here in melbourne australia and also thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it as it seriously helps me out and comment down below and i love you guys so much and i'll see you next time oh and thank you to the two girls who said hi to me today it always makes my day when someone notices me or reaches out to me so happy thank you so much girls loved it and and I'll see you next time.